about the mole concept. I'll be solving different practice problems to make us understand the concept of the mole. Now, what is the mole? The mole is the quantity of convenience used in quantitative chemistry to find that the relationships between various parameters like mass, molar mass, volume, concentration, and numbers of molecules. Now, you can see the first question written on the board. Now, what does the question talk about? The question says, find the mass of one mole of the following, which is A, H2SO4, B, Na3, ALF6. Now, you can see this question written on the board, and the question says, find the mass. Find the mass of one mole of H2SO4. Now, let's analyze the question. They are asking us to find the mass, but they gave us mole of the compounds. Now, this brings us to understand the concept of a formula, which we must take note of. Now, numbers of mole. Numbers of mole is represented with the symbol N and it is given by a formula according to the question because the question has mass in it and also they gave us the numbers of mole. So numbers of mole equals mass over molar mass. Mass over molar mass. Now, the question is asking us to get mass. So, basically, we make mass subject of formula. We making mass subject of formula, we cross multiply. So, we get numbers of mole, which is symbol N, times molar mass, times molar mass. Now, we've gotten the numbers of mole already to be one mole. This is the numbers of mole. But the problem now is to get the molar masses of the compounds. Now, let's solve for A, H2SO4. What is the molar mass of H2SO4? You can see we were given their atomic masses. Now, let's calculate the molar mass of H2SO4. So, the atomic mass of hydrogen is what? Since we have two atoms of hydrogen, we say 1 times 2 plus the atomic mass of sulfur is 32 plus the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. But now you can see we have four atoms of oxygen, so we say 16 times 4. So our molar mass we get for H2SO4 is 98 grams per mole 98 grams per mole remember h2so4 is an acid and it is formed by a process called the contact process now let's bring it into a formula for h2so4 so the mass of h2so4 simply becomes the numbers of mole given was one mole times the molar mass which is 98 grams per mole 98 grams per mole so the mass which has an SI unit in chemistry to be grams becomes 98 grams so this is the answer for the mass of one mole of H2SO4 98 grams. Now let's analyze the other question, which is B. They say find the mass of one mole of Na3ALF6. Na3ALF6. Now 
we need to get the molar mass of this compound. But before we do that, this compound is called creolite. This compound is called creolite. And creolite is one all for aluminium. But take note, this is not the major all of aluminium. The major all for aluminium is called bauxite. This is creolite. But the major all of aluminium is called bauxite with the chemical formula Al2O3.2H2O. This is bauxite, the major all of aluminium. Now, let's calculate the molar mass of this compound. We were given the atomic masses. The atomic mass of sodium is 23. Since we have three atoms of sodium, we say 23 times 3 plus the atomic mass of aluminum is 27 plus the atomic mass of fluorine is 19 but you can see fluorine has six atoms here so we say 19 times 6 when we press our calculator we get 210 grams per mole this is the molar mass of creolite one of the all of aluminium now let's include it into our formula remember they are asking us to get mass so basically, we know already numbers of mole equals mass over the molar mass. So let's make mass um, let's make mass subject of formula. Making mass subject of formula, we get numbers of mole times molar mass. Numbers of mole times molar mass. So the mass becomes numbers of mole is 1 mole times molar mass which is 210 grams per mole so basically our mass in grams becomes 210 grams so basically this is one phase on solving problems on the mole concept now let's move over to question 2 now let's quickly analyze question two. Question two says, calculate the numbers of mole present in a 5.3 grams of sodium hydroxide, b 200 cm cube of a 0.2 molar H2XO4 solution, and c. 5 dm cube of a 0 0.05 mole per dm cube HCl solution. Now, to solve this problem is very easy. We need to know the formulas to apply. Now, for the first question here, which is A, you can see they gave us mass in the question. And the compound was given to determine the molar mass. So it brings to our notice the first formula for numbers of moles. Now, what is the formula for A? Numbers of mole, which is denoted with N, equals mass over molar mass. And to get the molar mass is very easy because we are given the compound. And we, the atomic mass of sodium is 23. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. The atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. So when we press our calculator, we get 40 grams per mole. Now, this is the molar mass of the compound. Now, let's impute parameters. Now, numbers of mole which we are asked to get equal the mass in the question, which is 5.3 grams, dividing the molar mass of the compound, which is 400 grams per mole. So when we hit our calculator, we get the 
the numbers of moles to be 0 0.1325 moles. 0 0.1325 moles. This is the number of moles present in 5.3 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now, this is the first approach to question A. Now, let's quickly talk about B. Now, you can see for B, we were given volume in cm cube and 0.2 molar talks about concentration. Now, let's analyze the question. Now, you can see for B, we were given the volume to be 200 cm cube. This is volume. And the concentration, which is 0 0.2 molar. So basically, 0 0.2 molar talks about concentration. Concentration. SI units can be molar. Or if you don't say molar, you will say moles per dm cube. Now, we were given the volume and also concentration. Now, there's a formula that relates volume and concentration. What is the formula? Numbers of moles equals concentration times volume in cm cube over 1000. So whenever the volume is in cm cube, we divide by 1000. But numbers of mole, whenever the volume is in dm cube, we don't divide by 1000. So basically, these are the two formulas to apply. Now, let's talk about question uh, B now. Numbers of mole will not be. The concentration in the question was 0 0.2 molar. The volume in cm cube was 200 cm cube. Dividing 1000. So, the numbers of mole, we will press our calculator, we get 0 0.04 moles. So this is the numbers of moles present in 200 cm cube of a 0.2 molar H2SO4. Now let's talk about the C. Question C. You can see the question here so it has 5 dm cube. 5 dm cube of a 0.05 mole per dm cube HCl. And remember, more per dm cube talks about concentration. So we simply apply the formula. Numbers of mole equals C times V when the volume is in dm cube. We don't divide by 1000. So numbers of mole equals the concentration is given to be 0 0.05 times the volume in dm cube was given to be 5 dm. So numbers of mole becomes 0 0.25 moles. So this is the numbers of mole of 5 dm cube present in 0 0.05 mole per dm cube HCl solution. Now let's solve question 3. Question 3 says, Calculate the numbers of moles in A. 4.25 times 10 raised to the power of 21 molecules of oxygen. Now, calculating numbers of moles dealing with molecules, we should take note of this equation. Numbers of moles dealing with molecules simply is Numbers of mole equals numbers of molecules over Avogadro's constant, which has the value 
to be 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. Now, numbers of molecules in some calculation cases can also be called number of atoms. If it's not called numbers of atoms, it can also be called numbers of particles. Okay? Basically, these are some, are some terms used in place of numbers of molecules. Now, you can see this question. The question says, calculate the numbers of moles present or in 4.25 times 10 raised to the power of 21 molecules of oxygen. So basically, the answer to this question becomes, let's impute parameters. What is the number of molecules? This is the numbers of molecules. The numbers of molecules is simply 4.25 times 10 raised to the power of 21 molecules times Avogadro's constant, which is this. When we press our calculator, we get the numbers of uh, mole present in 4.25 times 10 to the power of 21 molecules of oxygen to be 7.1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 moles. Okay, 7.1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3, negative 3 moles. Okay, so basically this is the answer to this question. And remember, solving questions on molecules, we use this formula, numbers of molecules over Avogadro's constant. Now, let's quickly go over to the last question. The question says, calculate the numbers of moles present in 500 cm cube of carbon 4 oxide at STP. Now, Numbers of moles at STP is given by formula volume over 22,400 cm3. Volume over 22,400 cm3. Or converting the volume from cm3 to dm3, we get numbers of moles to be volume at STP over 22.4 dm3 dependent on the volume parameter you were given now you can see in this question the volume was in cm3 so basically we use this first formula they are both the same just the parameters now numbers of moles in this case the volume at stp stp means standard temperature and pressure 500 cm cube over 22,400 cm cube. So when we press our capital, the numbers of moles become 0 0.022 moles. So basically, these are some questions that explains the mole concept. And don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo for more videos. Thanks for watching.